In indoor environments where GPS signals are not available, drones face challenges in maintaining stable flight and precise hovering. This is where optical flow sensors come into play. Compared to other indoor positioning technologies, optical flow sensors have lower hardware costs, are easy to operate, and can be integrated into small drones. In the video, one drone runs Arduplat and the other runs PX4, both equipped with the MTF-01 module. Showcasing the versatility and effectiveness of optical flow technology in indoor environments, We choose the MTF-01 Optic Flow and LADA sensor developed by Magware Technology. And we'll show the setup tutorial on both our Drupalat and PX for platforms. The MTF-01 module can support different flight control software by setting corresponding protocols. Make sure you have correctly installed the USB TTO driver and connect the MTF-01 to your computer using USB TTO. Open Micro Assistant, select the COM port, and the board rate defaults to 115,200. Click the Connect button, and the Micro Assistant will receive data from MTF-01. Then click the Settings button, and select Corresponding Protocols to Flight Control Software in the Protocol tab. Miklink for FMT, MSP for Enov, MAV APM for Arduplat, and MAV PX4 for, for PX4. Select the corresponding protocol, click the red button, and you have set the protocol successfully. Connect the MTF-01 module to the flight controller board using a serial port to get all the data from the module. It's crucial to align the MTF-01 properly with your drone's orientation. Enough and FNT, they are heading forward. Arduplat and PX for the noise heading forward. Now we are going to set up and test the MTF-01 module in Arduplat. Connect the drone to Mission Planner. And switch to the Config tab. Go to the Full Parameter List tab in the left sidebar. Scroll down and configure the serial port to Mavlink protocol. The MTF-01 is connected to the Serial 4. Go to Serial 4 and set the board rate and protocol. Then move to flow underscore type and configure it. Continue to set the type of connected rangefinder. Write parameters and refresh it to get detailed parameters. Continue to set the detection range and direction of the rangefinder. Write parameters to the flight controller and reboot it. Move to the data tab and turn to status. We can check the data of optical flow and rangefinder to ensure if it is configured correctly. Next, we are going to set the transitions between GPS and optical flow. Turn back to the config tab. To enable transitions, the EKF3 must be used. The default testimeter for 4.1 and higher. Click EK3 to expand it. And disable the fusing of all velocities. Normally, the primary set should be configured for the GPS environment. The secondary sensor source can be set as optical flow and rangefinder. Finally, you can manually switch between the source sets using a free position auxiliary switch configured for EKFPO source. Write parameters and reboot it. Switch to data tab and turn to messages. When the switch is pulled low, the primary source set will be used. Middle position is for the secondary source set. You can manually switch between outdoor GPS environment and indoor optical flow environment. Switch to loader mode and enjoy your flight.
Now we are going to set up and test the MTF-01 module in PX4. Connect the drone to Crown Control. And click the Q icon to select vehicle setup. Move to Parameters tab. Select Mavlink and set the serial configuration for Mavlink. Reboot the drone to take effect. After rebooting, Go back to Mavlink and set the Mavlink mount. Scroll down to Serial tab and set the Serial board red. Go to Sensors tab and scroll down to set the optical full rotation. Finally, switch to EKF to tab and set the following parameters. All configurations done, reboot the drone to take effect. Go back to click the Q icon and select Analyze Tools. Go to Distance and Score Center in Mavlink Inspector tab. You can lift up the drone and check the data from the MTF-01 module. Turn back to the main interface, switch the flight mode, and it will log the messages from the drone. Enjoy your flights! You can access the tutorial for Enav in the previous video. Thank you for watching.